The question is, x squared plus y squared is equal to 25. That's equation number one. And on the other side, we have y is equal to x minus 7. OK. All right. Now, when you have a quadratic equation and a linear equation, the method that you should use is called substitution. So the method is substitution. We are solving by substitution. All right, so how do we go about uh, solving using substitution? Well, I know that this is a quadratic because both of my um, variables or the letters uh, have the power of 2, so that means this is a quadratic, and that one here is linear because both of my variables and letters have a power of 1. Okay, so you're going to use this method when you have a quadratic and a linear equation. So the first thing you're going to do is look at the linear equation, and here in this case we've got y is equal to x minus 7. You're going to make either y or x the subject of the formula. Basically, you want to have one of the letters to be on its own. In this case, I already have y on its own, and y is equal to x minus 7. So you're going to take that, and you're going to replace the y in equation number 1 with x minus 7, because y is equal to x minus 7. So here, I'm going to replace the y with x minus 7. So this is what I'm going to write. I'm going to write x squared plus y x minus 7. Now the y is squared, so I write x minus 7 squared is equal to 25. Now, here I've got x minus 7 squared. It means that I'm going to multiply x minus 7 by itself twice. So x minus 7 times x minus 7 and that's equal to 25. Here we have a double bracket, and to expand the double brackets, it's very easy. Um, the quick way of doing it is by asking yourself, what is x squared, x squared equal to? Well, it's x squared. What is minus 7 squared equal to? It's 49, because minus 7 times minus 7 is plus 49. A minus and a minus makes a plus. Okay, and then you're gonna do, you're gonna do two times minus seven times x. Two times minus seven is minus fourteen times x gives me minus fourteen x, and that's equal to twenty-five. If you don't understand that method, then what you can do is expand the bracket. Now, how do you expand double brackets? Well, this is how you do it. X times x is equal to x squared x times minus 7 gives you minus 7x, minus 7 times x gives you minus 7x, and minus 7 times minus 7 gives you plus 49, which is equal to 25. And if I simplify this, I get x squared, minus 7 minus 7 gives me minus 14x plus 49. Now, if you see that, it was the same answer as I got when I expanded the other way. Okay, so the other method is faster, but you choose whichever one you prefer. All right, so now I've got x squared plus x squared minus 14x plus 49 is equal to 25. I'm going to collect the like terms. In this case, those two are my like terms. So I'll get 2x squared because x, 1x squared plus 1x squared is equal to 2x squared minus 14x plus 49 is equal to 25. Now your next step is to bring that 25 to this side here. So because it's plus 25, it's, it's going to become minus 25. So I've got 2x squared minus 14x plus 49 minus 25. So now you're going to do 49 minus 25. 49 minus 25, how much is that equal to? Well, from 25 to 30, that's 5. And from 30 to 49, that's 19. So 19 plus 5 gives you 24. Okay, so 2x squared minus 14x plus 24 is equal to 0. Okay, now when you get to that stage where we've simplified your expression, ask yourself whether you can um, divide by any number. In this case, if you look at the 2, the minus 14, and the 24, you can divide everything by 2. So if you divide everything by 2, you get x squared, because 2 divided by 2 gives you 1 minus 7x plus 12 is equal to 0. 
All right, and now you need to factorize your expression. So I'm going to come here. You need to factorize these to solve 4x. So I've got x squared minus 7x plus 12 is equal to 0. To factorize the quadratic, this is a quadratic because the x has a power of 2. You draw two brackets. On the first one, you put an x here and an x there because x times x gives you x squared. Then you're going to ask yourself, what two numbers multiplied together will give you 12, but added together will give you minus 7. Now, straight away, I can think of 4 and 3. So write 4 and 3, because 4 times 3 is 12, and 4 plus 7, I can make it, 4 plus 3 makes 7. So those two numbers are the ones that I'm, I'm going to think of. Now, the next step is to figure out whether I'm going to write a plus or minus here, or plus or minus here. To figure that out, well, look at the number in the middle. The number in the middle needs to be minus 7. So, if I put a minus 4 here, and a minus 3 there, minus 4 minus 3 gives you minus 7. And if I do minus 4 times minus 3, that gives me plus 12, because a minus times a minus gives you a plus. Okay, and finally, you can work out what the value of x is. So here, you're going to split it up in half, you're going to say x minus 4 is equal to 0, or x minus 3 is equal to 0. And now it's a matter of solving 4x. So x is equal to 4, because if you take the minus 4 to the other side, it becomes plus 4. Or x is equal to 3. Now once you found what y is equal to, uh, x is equal to, you can substitute the value of x is equal to 4 into this equation there, because it's the easier one, and work out what y is for that one and that one. So I'm going to rub this part off here, and we're going to work out the value of y. So, if we have when x is equal to 4, then y is equal to 4 minus 7. I'm using equation number 2, by the way. And 4 minus uh, 7 is equal to minus 3. And when x is equal to 3, then y is equal to 3 minus 7, which gives me minus 4. Okay, so here's your answer, here's your answer, here's your answer, and here's your answer. Hope that helps, and um, let me know if you're stuck with anything. Thanks.